I will just tell you guys, potty training is not for the weak of heart. And make that eight times being on the floor because we just had an exit. You're actually, you're here for the next mm -hmm. what, couple days. Yeah. So this will be the first time you actually are like helping from start to finish. Mm -hmm. I potty train all the kiddos, except for Cal. Cal, you I started, started the first and day. then went to work. Yeah, and he did that on purpose, <laughs> mostly because I was waiting until the summer to potty train her, and she was like, no, 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 you can just do it while like. I'm you're... waiting for the weekend. I just had to work that weekend. It's not my fault, I had to work. You want three days of undivided attention, like you're not going anywhere. And so when I, the kids, the big kids were in school, well, the three big kids, in school I was going back and forth between two different schools picking them up and dropping them off that I knew it was not sensible for me to start potty training it would it would make it a little bit difficult for Cal so Drew didn't want to listen to reason and listen to the person who had potty trained his other children so he just started something and then made me finish it hey she got potty trained we were coming up to the cusp of two years old and I had a goal if we had waited till after the summer she would have been like what two uh, two years and like four or five months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that and was... it would have been over our goal. I help you get. I help you hit your goals. I never asked him to help me with my goals. Here is the first essential: a potty lid. We've done the whole like cutesy like on off like potty seats, like you know the ones that have like all the characters on them. The only reason I personally don't like them, I feel like it just gets everywhere in the bathroom. They get really pretty yucky really fast. I feel like a little bit faster than these, but then also sometimes our kid would just like walk, at, like take the seat anywhere. So these are the seats, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like so that way you can kind of understand it because I feel like I won't explain it really well. So there's nothing really wrong with the other seats that I mentioned. Like there's, if you're gonna potty train that way, you still can, your kid will still be able to get potty trained. It was just my preference not to use those because I just didn't like the fact that sometimes the seat would just be anywhere, be yucky. These are my favorite potty seats. Here it is. Basically, it's a, it looks like a normal one, but when you lift it up, there's a smaller seat right here, and then there's a bigger one for adults. It does have like magnets, so you can kind of fill the magnets but this is just really, really nice so that you're you're just gonna teach your toddler to pull the one that is their size. Or you could always just leave it down. You would just have your spouse or myself, I always have to remember just to put it down so that penguin or your toddler never falls in because that's not what you want. You don't want to have that traumatic feeling of falling in the toilet as a toddler. So these are my favorite, favorite seats, but obviously it's just like my preference. You can use the other ones. I just never liked the other ones, but also this is kind of more aesthetically pleasing to look at than the other seats. So that's just my opinion. Drew's gonna help me put them on because I never put them on, right babe? Right. Okay. You're actually reading instructions? Mm, I'm just looking at them so I know what not to do. To be pretty straightforward, little washer, big washer, Put the screw in. So, I know Gina told you guys why she prefers this seat, and I will tell you why I prefer this seat instead of the seat that you take off and put over. Is because you know how when you use the restroom, how you always get like this yellow ring under the seat, or potentially, we do with kids. With kids. <laughs> right? With the seat that you sit on and then take off, any pee that gets underneath it just stays under it. And so like if you have a hook on the wall or like by the toilet paper or something, then you end up getting pee on the wall. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Like you remember that? Like you pick it up and it'd be like the styrofoam because it's all nice and cushy for the kids. Well, that's great until the styrofoam or cushion like absorbs pee because you know, kids potty train and they like pee everywhere. Ever, especially, especially if you got boys. boys. <laughs> Why are we saying the same thing? <laughs> Somebody did ask me the other day, are we going to teach Penguin? Oh, pee standing up or sitting down? Uh-huh. And I said, standing up. We do both. Don't and lie to them. I said, well, um, Don't let you to lie to you. We do both. And the reason why we do both is because in the very beginning, it is a little bit easier for them to sit down, right? But I, I am do... not teaching my son to sit down. He's going to stand up in full glory. Don't let his misogyny Inside, get, get to you. Matter. Listen to this, listen to this. I think both is really important because eventually your child who has a genital that is a penis will need to stand to 
like go pee like at the urinals right so i think learning both we taught panda what we did was in the very first week or two i think we did sitting down but then eventually every once in a while i would have panda go to the bathroom with drew and like watch him so that way they understand like both is normal and both is good kids with penises should be using the bathroom both ways so that's just kind of like my thoughts i think they should learn both i don't think a toddler should only be peeing standing up i think they should have both we had heard a trick with panda that if you throw some cheerios in the toilet like you throw some cheerios in the toilet your son would be so happy to play games and pee on the Cheerios and just be so happy. Panda thought we were throwing his breakfast into the toilet. He didn't and he just it. cried. And so we learned really quick. We were not gonna throw anything in the toilet for him to pee on. These things aren't like tightening very well. Maybe they just take a lot of time. You think it'd be the problem to be you? Nope. <laughs> it could be the product, it could be the instructions. Well, it's definitely not you. It could be the tools. It could be the toilet seat. It is not me. <laughs> I'm not the problem. This is a little self-talk for you guys today. You are not the problem. Don't worry. Something else is going on. Oh my goodness. Done. Easy peasy. Look at the tiny little seat. Ta-da. We're gonna go grab a stool and then I'm going to show you one of my other things that I do to help potty training be successful. So every single time they go potty, we give them candy. Like even if it's a little stingle, that means they're understanding how to get that little stingle out. So I just got all of your toddler's favorite candy and you put it in there and then you go like to town. So every single time they pee, you give them candy. This is actually Drew's favorite candy, so Penguin gets half of this and you gets the rest. For some reason I thought you were going to put that on the back of the toilet. You can, but uh, this is not my first go around. Let me take in our work here, our full scope of work. Stool, toilet setup, bucket of candy, oh yeah. Yep, as uh, Penguin is gonna be hyped on on sugar. I got some organic candy. That must count for something, right? Candy's candy, sugar, sugar. I might start re-potty training so I could get me a bucket of candy in the bathroom. So I just got this for Panda. This is this so cool. Basically, like a controller, right? Is that how you say it? Yeah, a mm -hmm. controller, but look at it. I think it's so cool. I got it from there. I'll make sure I put it in the description. And I also got this one. These are both belt bags, but the, they scream Panda when I see these I saw it. Pokemon extra bag. Oh my no goodness. Oh, well, I got you something too. <laughs> so I got this for Penguin. It's a cute little backpack. And then the girls, you guys are always obsessed about like the cute bags that get them. This one, I thought this was really, really cute. And it's a little cross bag. It's a ladybug. Look how cute. So they can put the little, I don't know, what could they put in there? It doesn't really even matter. They can fit like a chapstick, a little stick with sunscreen, sunscreen stick, some money, some pennies, just enough to carry their little things. Yep. Just like that. Oh, that is so adorable. What do you think about it? I love it. <laughs> I ended up getting something else too. Oh, man, I think I kind of went a little crazy. Okay, I did go crazy. I did go a little crazy. It's right before my cycle started. Okay, what is this? This is a cute bag. This is cute for the beach. Oh, look at this. Look how cute this is. Okay, if you guys really want these bags, I'm gonna put a link in the description to all these bags. Okay, there's one more. Well, what do you think about this one? I love it. You like it? So I got little bags for the girls for the summer. Everyone has a bag now. I will just tell you guys, potty training is not for the weak of heart. Penguin, hey bubby. This is where we've been sitting on a towel. So he does it, pee on the towel. Okay, anyway, just the towel. So our update is that we've pottied in the floor seven times and we've pottied in the potty eight times. So we're just cresting the hop, it's day two. I will be 100% honest, I was going to record yesterday and I just didn't have the mental capacity from running around with him and you want the wiggles? We've been distracting ourselves with wiggles. We're getting to the point where we're having more success with the potty than not. 
Oh my goodness, our uh, TV is glitching, so this is gonna be fun. We may need to grab a tablet, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you the things that we keep in our car at all times to make potty training easy as well. This is just like for when you have to make sure like if you're driving and you wanna stop and not having to try to find the closest like retail store or potty you have one in your car always so you don't have to worry about accidents here it is it is actually i think it's so so cool they have different ones and it's actually a seat so you can pee in it right here you can pee in it close it up it does seal completely but because i'm a germaphobe i typically use this and have them sit in this and it's like a little bag with a little pad inside that absorbs uh, most of the pee and then that way you can just throw that out but if you don't have that you can just use this and then clean it out and i think this is so adorable they can hold this on their own so in here it has some wipes some hand sanitizer extra pair of clothes underwear and more hand sanitizer and a cute little fidget spinner but i always keep an extra pair of clothes underwear because you know kids sometimes have accidents and especially in the beginning when they are still learning i also keep a ziploc bag for the wet clothes that way it's not stinking up your car the wipes to clean themselves up and like the hand sanitizer so i have all this in here and this is also like a little backup kind of stash so this is everything that I keep in my car to make potty training easier. <laughs> right now we have a timer set for every 20 minutes and every 20 minutes we're going to sit on the potty. And right now we have about a minute and 44, 43 seconds before we go sit on the potty. He is doing really good. He's pooped in the potty twice. I don't know, I'm really excited. It is exhausting. But let me show you guys what we have so far. Okay, make that eight times being on the floor because we just had an accident. We've got our jar of candy here. We've got wipes. We've got our Juneteenth book to keep us occupied. We also have some potty books that I'll show you. We have our little baby potty seat. So in between going potty, we'll look at our potty books. We have Poopasaurus. We have potty. We have let's go to the potty. We have, of course, Daniel Tiger potty time. Right? If we have to go potty, we stop and we go right away, right? We try, we try. We know there's still gonna be accidents, but he's really catching on really fast. He's grabbing his privates when he needs to go potty now and we're running to the potty and then we're getting candy afterwards. And uh, we'll have one more day of this and then he pretty much should be potty trained. Sometimes he'll still have accidents at night, that's normal. And uh, pooping in the potty sometimes can take longer. It's harder for toddlers to poop in the potty. But yeah, we are doing really good so far. Letting the house be a complete mess. Letting Penguin run around half naked. And we have one more day. You can see I haven't even shaved. I've just been going with the flow and trying to make it work.